So guys, we got a Halloween freaking teaser for Jeremiah, actual video footage of our first look of him in Season 5, and uh, some actual Joker-esque Harley Quinn photos from Cameron Monaghan himself. Let's dive straight into this video. <laughs> How's it going Gothamites? Welcome to my trailer breakdown slash kind of theory rambly discussion video. You know how it goes on this channel. But he does say something very interesting about a family reunion at the end. But it may, may not be what you think. But I'll dive into that after I react to the trailer. This time I have actually seen this trailer but I'll watch it again uh, just to refresh my memory. In front of you guys for those of you who may not have seen it as well you can watch it here. Uh, but yeah, let's freaking dive straight into this trailer. But first of all, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new for more Gotham videos just like this and reviews coming in January uh, for season five. And be sure to like this video if you're really excited uh, and, and really thought that this trailer was pretty awesome and got your hype going for the season to come. And a four and a three and a three and four. We are always different, Jerome and I. I showed a proficiency for maths and design and Jerome mainly the mutilation of alley cats. <laughs> I'm gonna drive you mad. Breathe it in. I'll find it. It's I, time to have some fun. I do love the hype behind these trailers. Long live me. You're more sick than your brother. We just wanted to destroy things. I'm a builder. But every artist needs a blank canvas. We will create a legacy in this city. Gotham Falls. We rise. Now that was a pretty cool trailer. I know everyone, I've seen quite, well not everyone, I've seen quite a few comments say oh, only two seconds blah 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 like what BS is this? It's like well at least you got something guys. Uh, and it was a pretty cool tease of uh, Jeremiah at the, at the end there. Licking blood off a razor blade. Now I've heard loads and loads of theories but I have come to the conclusion I don't think it is uh, or it's not going to go with the way you think as uh, Jeremiah um, I think, yeah, Jeremiah said that. Um, so a lot of people here are thinking that um, Jeremiah uh, is is cutting scars into uh, the J Jerome clone. Uh, if you guys remember back, way back, uh, man, at the end of season two, we saw that guy come out the bus, blatantly meant to look like Cameron Monaghan with a bathrobe on, basically Jeromey kind of Indian Hill clone. Uh, and there's been this long kind of theory in Gotham that the way they could still do a Joker you know in the show with, without it being Jerome or Jeremiah and this line runs in line with what uh, the executive producer and showrunner uh, John Stevens said about how no Jeremiah and Jerome uh, the Valeska twins aren't the Joker, Mad Hatter, Penguin, all the other characters are who they are but uh, these two guys the Valeska twins are just inspirations for the guy who is out there or we know to be out there. Whether you're of the opinion of they've completely walked back on that or not and now they're, you know, with this fifth and final season, they're thinking, fuck it, like, we're gonna actually, um, you know, embrace Jeremiah, right? Include him in the 10-year time jump as well, and he'll be Bruce's Joker. And, yeah, whatever, right? But mixing that line with, you know, don't, I love a family reunion, don't you, or something like that, uh, really, really chilling there, and we did hear a Jeremiah laugh as well, and you can see him smiling here. Um, that is one thing we didn't see too much of last season, believe it or not. Uh, well, you guys probably know that, uh, and that was one of the most common complaints that I heard about Jeremiah, is that, you know, it, it, his laughing uh, compared to Jerome's loony laughing, you know, the amount of times that happened was completely different. Like, it, Jeremiah barely did it at all. But after finding out that Jeremiah will be a lot more unhinged this season, I think that they're gonna kind of low-key retcon the fact that, or like the characteristic behind that. Um, and, you know, it, it does make sense canonically as well, or like, you know, in the story that he would be more unhinged with what they've said. Um, so that way they can add in what uh, they were being, uh, what, what feedback they were receiving from fans about, oh, we want him to be a bit more... Uh, creepy with the laughter and stuff like that. So what they're going to do with Jeremiah essentially next season is is maintain that difference between Jerome. Like he's still going to be that creepy Jeremiah chilling Joker like Dark Knight Returns yes, but add a little bit more of a, a laugh. And that laugh at the end wasn't like the hee hee ha 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 kind of one that Jerome does, but it's still just as terrifying and and menacing because. It's just like a, a, a grumble of a laugh uh, and a little hoo-hoo and stuff like that. It's just, I find that just as creepy. But back to the whole family reunion thing, I kind of lost my track of thought there. So a lot of people are thinking that, oh, 
wait, what? So there might be a third, and this is how they're going to make, you know, the actual Joker come to Gotham. Um, but the thing is, I don't think that's the case. Uh, so that's theory one, you know, the Jerome clone from the end of season two, blah, 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 that, that they, he somehow found him or whatever. Um, and, you know, he's got big plans for him or whatever. The next theory is close to any of this I could come up with is that, uh, and this has been kind of a popular one before in Gotham, uh, is that Jeremiah is still seeing Jerome or something like that in his head. Uh, and they're going to kind of blend in the personalities a little bit. So he's like, oh, I love a family reunion. Uh, don't you and stuff like that, but I also don't think it's that as well I mean sure there might be elements of that next season uh, Jeremiah might uh, Jerome might still play Jeremiah But yeah, I don't think that's what the family reunion uh, thing was on about But what does the family reunion line mean then Boba? Well, I can't confirm this and spoiler warning because this might actually be it But at the same time, this is just my opinion. This is just a theory uh, Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below uh, to this after you've heard me say it but one more time spoiler warning what we know is that Martha Wayne somehow is coming back to Gotham season 5 um, and I think that maybe this is a line uh, from what they've already shot obviously with Cameron Monaghan on set as Jeremiah this season um, and there was a photo of him if I remember correctly I haven't got it up right in front of me uh, but Sean Pertwee's Alfred uh, obviously Cameron Monaghan as Jeremiah and then we had Martha Wayne the same Martha Wayne I'm sorry I can't remember the actress's name off the top of my head uh, who played Martha Wayne in season one now I did do a breakdown video of this before and I was thinking well What the heck is going on here? What is Jeremiah doing to Bruce? Um, and now with further thoughts and context with this trailer you have to think well Maybe the family reunion thing here is is kind of with Bruce uh, initially I was thinking maybe it was a flashback But then again Jeremiah is, is taking a picture of her they they're happening to be in costume at the same time so they're likely uh, to be filming scenes together how would that be possible now this might not be the reason i mean it could still be some kind of weird uh drug induced thing for bruce or something like that but you could argue that jeremiah enlists the help of clayface uh to to look like martha wayne to completely f with bruce now why are you saying that boba now i'm saying this uh, because what we found out about Gotham this season in terms of Jeremiah is that he's really happy with what he accomplished with No Man's Land. He thinks he's like the big man now, but there's still uh, something that he hasn't accomplished. And that is basically Bruce Wayne, like, you know, his love. He wants to be his best friend, right? And, and stuff like that. He wants his friendship and he's going to try and show Bruce... Uh, his love and affection in a very kind of twisted way uh, Supposedly so I think the way or one of the ways he's gonna go about doing that this season is is yes You probably guessed it trying to get Martha Wayne or Clayface appear to Bruce as Martha Wayne to completely screw with his mind Obviously as you could probably tell Bruce is not gonna like that It'll be pretty effed up uh, to see your mum walking in Wayne Manor or whatever's gonna happen here because we know there's some Joker Bruce Alfred scenes in Wayne Manor next season um, and Jeremiah probably won't understand why he doesn't like this Bruce I was just trying to be your friend don't you like what I did for you very sinister coming from a screwed up place with Jeremiah uh, but he had like good if if that makes sense intentions there but yeah, yeah you kind of get where I'm going with this let me know what you think down in the comments below with that I would love to know uh, if you have any other theories in terms of how Martha Wayne uh, could be coming in. But I guess more importantly with this trailer, what does uh, Jeremiah mean by family reunion? Uh, but if I do say my so myself, I feel like I've more or less pinned the tail on the donkey there. But I could, as I said, I could be wrong. I probably might be. Now, in addition to this, guys, Cameron gave us three new photos on his Instagram. And essentially what we see is Jeremiah and Echo dancing in that very familiar uh, kind of Joker and Harley Quinn dance, if you know what I mean, like that. Um, I believe that this is Gotham's um, homage or homage, whatever way you want to say that, to that kind of famous, if you will, uh, Joker and Harley Quinn dance. Obviously, I'm, I'm really fascinated to see how Echo is going to be going crazy this season. They said it's said that they're not going to have the most healthiest relationship. Obviously, you can't jump straight to abusive there, uh, but it's going to be unhealthy, which is, um, I guess, a lot of people... Um, believe it or not prefer that over the romantic one because that is kind of how Joker treated Harley in the comics um, Now this place seems to be if you remember in the Gotham season 5 trailer uh, Harley not Harley well, you never know uh, Echo was wearing that kind of uh, th that get up of clothing where you see like the black stripes over the white um, and with, uh, with her mask on 
Uh, she's wearing the exact same get up here um, at where when Jeremiah is dancing with her. We see some workers in the background. We see them dancing. But I'm super intrigued to see how Jeremiah is like with Echo in just terms of a relationship and a girlfriend anyway because they are together this season. And as for like the razor blade thing though, uh, which I kind of got to mention. I think that maybe he's just killing someone. Like, maybe it's one of these workers in the background. Jeremiah is very creepy. He doesn't really think twice about doing stuff like as sinister as murder. Uh, so I think that maybe he could be doing that. Echo could laugh in reaction or something like that. And then he's licking the blood off it. That is one theory there. It could be anything else. But no, I don't think he's cutting scars into his face or someone else's face or something like that. Who knows? He could be doing something to Echo, but maybe that's a bit too far for the TV screen. Um, but then again, so with the other thing. But yeah, you never know. Now, if I remember correctly, I think Echo or like Jeremiah will have some kind of like culty, like not necessarily like a drone cult, but a following. Uh, so I'm not sure what these workers are doing in the background. I can barely make out what they're doing, but they're obviously planning to do something. I mean, Jeremiah has, has, of course, got probably still big plans for No Man's Land. And I think Echo is going to be doing a lot of his, how do I call it, his bidding um, until Jeremiah arrives on the scene in uh, Gotham Season 5, which won't be till like Episode 5 or 6, I think, around there. Uh, but then, of course, we've got Episode 7, or is it 8, uh, titled Ace Chemicals. So that is uh, very obviously a reference, and I can't wait to find out what happens with that. Uh, but other than that, guys, that is more or less this video. Don't forget that, as it says in this trailer, we found out the other day, uh, Gotham premieres January 3rd, 8, 7 Central on Fox. Um, it is going to be a really big ride. Uh, this was a pretty cool teaser. Be sure to leave a like on it if you did enjoy the video. Uh, you can find links to my social media and everything else and other ways to support the channel like Patreon or my merchandise. Uh, check it out. Everything is down there in the description box. But thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day. And I'll see you Gothamites in the next video. Goodbye.